Hello everyone. Welcome to EA Secret. In every religion there are some objects that are considered sacred. Since it is difficult to verify the authenticity of these objects, they remain largely outside the scope of science. However, the same does not apply to the Shroud of Turin. The Shroud of Turin is a piece of cloth that Jesus was allegedly wrapped in after he was lowered from the cross, and is thought to have a silhouette of Jesus' face and body on it. Probably no religious object has ever received more scrutiny than this piece of fabric. The Shroud of Turin first appeared in France in the 1350s. It was written in the Bible that Jesus was wrapped in a linen cloth after his death. Therefore, people began to believe that this cloth was the linen cloth that wrapped the body of Jesus. In a short time, people flocked from all over to see this ancient fabric. Until recently, the Shroud of Turin was exhibited in a cathedral in Turin, Italy, for about 150 years. In fact, it has taken its popular name from Turin, the city where it is also exhibited. In 1992, the Shroud of Turin, which was saved from a fire, was destroyed and protected. As many as those who considered the Shroud of Turin a sacred trust, there were also not a few who thought that it was a fake material. Some of the first real studies of the Shroud were conducted in the 20th century. It was made by a French anatomist named Yves Delage at the beginning of the 19th century. His observations and those from similar studies conducted more recently largely supported the hypothesis that the image corresponds to a seriously injured man before death. In the following years, a different group of researchers, calling themselves the Shroud of Turin Research Project (STURP), decided to tackle the subject. This team has closely examined the Shroud of Turin using a number of modern techniques. The team's results, published in 1981, seem to imply that the origins of the Shroud of Turin were beyond the understanding of science. The team also said that the image was formed through contact with a three-dimensional object such as the human body. In short, he had confirmed the sanctity of the Shroud. Of course, in the continuation of this, new research has also begun. Walter McCrone, a chemist and microscopist, conducted independent research from the STIRP team in 1978. His conclusion was that in the Middle Ages a talented artist made this shroud. However, the biggest evidence against the authenticity of the shroud comes from a technique widely used by archaeologists. In 1988, a group of scientists examined several small fragments of the shroud using the carbon-14 dating method. He eventually found that it was made between December 1260 and 1390. However, the age that Jesus had to be to bear his marks was about 2000. Unfortunately, determining the age of the veil could not give enough answers for everyone. On top of this, the researchers claimed that there was an earthquake that was effective in Jerusalem on the date when Jesus was believed to have died, and therefore a miscalculation was made. The high-frequency pressure waves generated in the Earth's crust during the earthquake could have produced neutron emissions. In these, it could interact directly with the nitrogen atoms in the linen fibers, triggering chemical reactions in the shroud. In the end, this could have led to an incorrect radiocarbon dating. Although this claim is theoretically possible, it has not been confirmed by other scientists. However, this claim was enough to rekindle the debate. To dispel this controversy, the researchers also used modern forensic techniques on the shroud this time. They focused on the bloodstains on the linen cloth from the supposed crucifixion wounds. They tried to recreate the most likely position of the arms and body in the shroud. When all the bloodstains on the shroud were examined, they revealed that these could not be real bloodstains of a person who was crucified and then put in a tomb, in fact, they were handmade by the artist who created the shroud. Although the claims that it is a fake are growing stronger, experiments carried out in recent years have argued that the shroud may actually have been used to wrap the body of Jesus. Italy's National Institution for New Technologies, Energy and Sustainable Economy announced in December 2011 that the shroud could not be fake. 
The statement stated that the silhouette on the shroud may have been formed by ultraviolet radiation, and it was stated that the shape resembling a male face appeared with a large burst of energy. Based on this, scientists have argued that the great explosion of energy experienced at the resurrection of Jesus could have caused such a miracle. Fanti said that the result obtained in the carbon date detection method carried out in 1988 gave the wrong result due to the fact that the laboratory in which the experiment was conducted was dirty. Fanti thinks that the shroud on it depicts Jesus, who is clearly suffering, bears traces of many wounds, and was brought down from the cross. The Italian scientist stated that the silhouette may have been caused by an exceptionally high radiation explosion. Fanti also stated that in his past research, he had also found dust and pollen from the Holy Land on the Shroud. He defended the views of Gaeta de Fanti, a Catholic who works for the Vatican's newspaper La Servitore Romano. As a result, the debate over the Shroud of Turin is still ongoing. But do you think the Shroud of Turin is out of the hands of an artist, or is it really the Shroud that Jesus was wrapped in? I am waiting for your thoughts on this in the comments. If you liked the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe.